Florence, Italy, the 14th century, the beginning of a new era. This era would leave behind the irrationality and brutality of the Middle Ages. Through the patronage of ruling class families, this age would produce some of the greatest intellectuals and artists of its time. Leonardo da Vinci, Botticelli, Brunelleschi, Donatello, and Michelangelo. These artists thrived in Florence under the patronage of the powerful Medici family. The Medicis helped create this new era, this rebirth, this renaissance. This is Art Patronage, the Reign of the Medici. In the 15th century, during the Italian Renaissance, the Medici family became the all-powerful rulers of Florence. They commissioned artists, sponsored the creation of public buildings, and created an extremely prosperous republic. The Medici's patronage demonstrated the responsibility of a leader to provide art and support to artists. This idea has evolved over time and has led to the present establishment of the public's right to art. Before the Renaissance began and the Medici took power in Florence, there was a time racked with disease, death, and war. People were so fixated on surviving through the Black Plague, the Crusades, and the other horrors of the age that there was little time or money to focus on art. Artists were few in number and often made very little money and had to work as masons or craftsmen as well. But Italy was able to move out of this dark time in the 14th century through the accumulation of wealth through trade as well as the movement of the papacy from Rome, Italy to Avignon, France. The papal move helped Italy break free from the constraints of the Catholic Church. Italian culture shifted from a God-centered society into a man-centered society, which looked back to classical Greek and Roman culture for inspiration. This shift was known as the Renaissance. Italy was comprised of many powerful city-states who were ruled by wealthy families, such as the Medici dynasty in the city-state of Florence. The first ruler of this dynasty was Cosimo de' Medici, who was born in 1389. He was known to many as Pater Padre, or Father of the Nation. His artistic and intellectual patronage was a form of propaganda that helped him establish his power and respect in the city of Florence. Cosimo's patronage had varying forms and methods, including the commission of artwork for his own personal enjoyment, as well as the sponsorship of public buildings. These forms of patronage are seen in his creation of the first public library in Europe, located in San Marco, as well as his backing of Brunelleschi in the construction of the dome on the Santa Maria del Fiore. Not only did Cosimo commission public buildings, but he also sponsored one of the great artists of the Renaissance, Donatello. Donatello's famed creation of the bronze statue of David was commissioned by Cosimo to be placed in the courtyard of the Medici Palace. Cosimo de' Medici helped conceive the concept of the responsibility of a leader to support art and artists, and his grandson, Lorenzo de' Medici, expanded on these ideas. Lorenzo de' Medici was born in Florence, Italy on January 1, 1449, and on December 2, 1469, at age 20, Lorenzo became the head of the Medici dynasty. He was known to many as Il Magnifico, or the Magnificent, under Lorenzo's leadership, society, including the arts and artists, prospered. Following the example of Cosimo, Lorenzo used patronage to expand his scope of power, but also for his own personal enjoyment. Lorenzo's patronage had many different forms and intensities. The most generous was the sponsorship of Michelangelo. 
Lorenzo first encountered Michelangelo as a student at the Medici School for Sculptors. Lorenzo was very impressed with Michelangelo. He decided to let Michelangelo live with him and his family and be raised as a Medici. This is one of the many forms of patronage that were established under the leadership of Lorenzo de' Medici. Other forms included his commissioning of artwork and statues, as well as the construction of public buildings. The most common form was his sponsorship of artists. Lorenzo's court of artists included Sandro Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, Fra Filippo Lippi, and Michelangelo. Lorenzo's lavish public and private patronage was the first of his time. This made Florence into one of the leading cultural centers of the Italian Renaissance. Lorenzo is described by Niccolo Machiavelli as the greatest patron of literature and art that any prince has ever been. This flourishing of a patron society helped to develop and establish the responsibility of a leader to provide art and to support artists. Lorenzo's long and prosperous reign did indeed come to an end. On April 8, 1492, Lorenzo de' Medici, Il Magnifico, died in his sleep. The city of Florence grieved for the loss of their greatest patron. With Lorenzo's death came chaos and confusion. Religious reformers claimed that Lorenzo and the Medici family had turned society from the humbleness of God to the excesses of materialism. These reformers exiled the Medici and a new leader emerged, Savonarola. Savonarola, a Dominican friar and preacher, rejected the paganism of the times, which included the celebration of ancient Roman and Greek culture. In the name of a Christian renewal, Savonarola instigated the burning of the vanities in 1497 where a great bonfire was constructed and Florentines burned items considered sinful, including artwork and books. But soon the Florentine people grew resentful and unhappy with Savonarola's rule. They despised this oppression and did not want to be pulled back into the Dark Ages. In 1497, Savonarola was arrested, and on May 23, 1498, he was executed for being a false prophet. With Savonarola gone, the people of Florence prayed for a good, just ruler. In 1512, their prayers were answered. The Medici returned from their exile and ruled the Republic of Florence. The Renaissance continued into the 16th century, ushering in the modern era. Today we can still see the effects of Lorenzo's establishment of the responsibility of a leader to support art and artists in the development of the public's right to art. This is most clearly seen in the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights Article 27 which states, Everyone has the right freely to participate in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts, and to share in scientific advancement and its benefits. The great thing about Minnesota is in 2008, you know, we passed in our, con we're the one state in the United States to have the arts as a right in our state constitution. I think the citizens of the state of Minnesota, which I think per capita our state government gives more to the arts now than any other state. So I forget Minnesota must have roughly 5 million people and the amount our state government is giving to all the arts groups is really substantial. The Medici dynasty created an extremely prosperous society during the 14th to 16th century in Florence, Italy. Through patronage, the Medicis established the responsibility of a leader to support art and the accompanying idea of the public's right to art. As this concept was so radical, people opposed it. However, this new society that flourished with artists and intellectuals could not be stopped. 